Hi, my name is Ben Mills and I'm from Texas Tech University and today we'll be over going over beef carcasses. Uh, today our class is placed 4, 3, 1, 2, so let's start at the top pair. In this top pair, between 4 and 3, the first thing we need to look at is the quality grade. Quality is determined by the marbling inside the ribeye, as well as the color, texture, and firmness of the ribeye. The, with the greater amount of marbling, it allows for a higher merchandising value and for a carcass to be placed at a higher grade over another carcass. Once you look at the quality grade and realize that the quality is similar, you have to move to your second priority in placing, which is yield. Yield is based off of two things the fat opposite the ribeye and the size of the ribeye area. When looking at these two carcasses, you realize that the fat thickness opposite the ribeye is very similar, but the ribeye area between four and three are much different. Four has a two or three square inch difference ribeye, which allows for it to have a lower yield and a greater percentage of closely trimmed retail cuts, allowing for you to place four over three. In our bottom pair, between one and two, we have another interesting scenario. Two has a higher degree of marbling in the ribeye, but one is a lower quality, higher yielding carcass. However, because yield is such an important factor in beef grading, we're able to put a lower quality carcass like one over two because of yield. One is a higher yielding carcass because it has less fat opposite the ribeye as well as over the round, the sirloin, the loin, loin edge, rib, and chuck, as well as having a larger ribeye, round, sirloin, loin, rib, and chuck. With those two factors, we are able to have a larger amount of closely trimmed retail cuts and it allows us to have more money to put in the producer's pocket. Two is a higher quality carcass, as shown by a higher degree of marbling, but due to its unfavorable fat thickness and ribeye size, it went last in today's class. In our middle pair, between one and three, the quality difference was enough to allow a higher merchandising value because of the marbling in the ribeye. You have a very typical quality difference between three being a higher quality carcass compared to one being a lower quality carcass. By looking at the marbling inside of the ribeye, you are able to realize that three is going to have a higher merchandising value over one, even though one is a higher yielding carcass. So in some nation, beef carcasses can be easily placed quality first to separate into pairs and then using yield to separate those pairs to place the class correctly. I'm Ben Mills and I'm from Texas Tech University. Thank you.